Adventures of Casey here. Uh, we're trying another little installment. This is going to be part of our just because you're camping doesn't mean you have to eat like a savage uh, plan. And what we're going to do today is we're actually roasting up some vegetables. And we're going to make a fire roasted salsa from the tailgate. And our goal is to actually use the jet boil to do this. Because we don't want to get out all the fancy equipment. And we just want to see if we can. So we've got this little Kamal. Um, Jet Boil has a little standoff deal. Uh, this is the very first time we've actually even ever used it. We've had this thing for years. It's great. We make coffee with it. We boil water for our freeze-dried meals if we're in a hurry to get on the road. But, you know, we've been meaning to do this for a while. And I figure, hey, we're out here in Toronto. I, I want a snack. And uh, it's, this salsa is going to come in handy for dinner, too. So uh, let's give it a run and, and see if we can actually do it. Yeah, here we go. Um, usually I use a tomatillo or something for this recipe, but um, unfortunately, uh, grocery stores, and you would think a grocery store in California would have tomatillo, but, you know, fuck you, Ralphs. I don't understand what the fuck you're doing in northern Mexico, and you don't carry tomatillos at all. So uh, we're going to just make a Rojas salsa, and uh, yeah, got some fucking tomatoes. We'll roast those up a bit too, but you can see the Jalapeno and the serrano and the garlic, they're starting to char up pretty nice. So get this done and then we'll blend it all together. All right, so that didn't take too long at all. Um, next up, we have our new knife here. So the old Uncle Jed Damascus special. I've been wanting to play with it. So this gives us a good reason for it. This is our newest uh, addition to the, the camp box. So all we're gonna do this up here so you guys can see what we got. Uh, went ahead and got a good char on the peppers. Just kind of cooked the tomatoes a little bit. They started to split. I don't feel like fucking with much more mess than that. And uh, I might rough chop some of these just a little bit. I'm blend this shit up and see what the hell we get, right? Let's cut the tomatoes in half at least. So let's see. Let's start with... Probably should have done quarters on the meter, so well. Oh, you know what? Hell, it ain't too late. Again, untried recipe. We're going to give it a go. See what it comes up with. Throw in some of the garlic. You know what? Actually, I think I'm going to do a little different on this one. We're gonna throw the garlic in and the peppers. And blend that up really, really good, and then we're gonna add the add the tomato. Ugh. Drop the knife. Don't drop the knife. I I I I want the knife. Everybody know that movie? Stupid movie. Long time ago. Probably not. All right, whatever. Hey, if you know that movie, drop it down in the comments. I don't de seed my peppers. So, I mean, if you're one of those people, then I guess probably go ahead. So, this is, uh, damn, this knife cuts good. Jed was on it. Two Serrano, one Jalapeno. One for the cook. Looks like it's going to be spicy. And there's the garlic. And for today's experiment, boys and girls, we are using our little magic bullet. And we already had put a uh, inverter in the truck. So, anyway, let's see if you guys can handle this and see this here. The reason we put the inverter in the truck is for doing dumb shit like this. Let's throw some meters in there. Got 
I'm sure if anything I'm doing is incorrect or non-traditional, one of my 7 million Mexican friends out there will let me know. But for right now, Oh, Jed, look at that. Not super sharp for that kind of stuff, but fuck. All right. Uh, it's probably too full. There's a full line on these things. I don't know if you knew that. And if you get over it, they get mad at you. But you know what? I think it'll grind down here pretty quick. All right. Let's see what happens. It's called the tomatoes. Aren't wanting to grind up. So let's take a couple of them out. We'll always go back in. There we go. Find me a fork. There we go. Now we got it blended. That's definitely an interesting look. It smells good. That's not the best color I've ever seen. Doggy, that's got some heat. It needs a little bit of salt, but I think we're there. Finished product here in a minute. I think uh, once this thing, once it settles down and all the air works out of this, we're going to have a better. Um... <clears throat> Woo! Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll be back in a bit. All right. Well, we got it. Uh... Most of the air bubbles and stuff are out of it. So, uh, yeah, it's not a bad looking salsa, but it tastes really fucking good. I ended up adding a little bit of salt to it after, uh, the last little mix, but yeah, that's going to go, that's going to go really good on tacos tonight. So, yep. Cheers. Cheers.